Hello everyone, Jan here, and I'm going to be showing you um, the manga that I've picked up from all the way back in March up to this month, um, September. Um, got quite a bit so to go through, so let's go ahead and get started. Also, I should have a couple more with me, but my friend bought some for me, <clears throat> and I haven't been able to get it back from him because we haven't been able to meet up, so I'll go ahead and point those out as some... Um, I'm a bit sick and showing to you on the way so let's go ahead and get started first I'll start with my Japanese volumes that I got at a Goodwill this is Buso Ranking volume 1 and 2 I'm in Japanese they're much smaller um, than actually than the volumes published over here because they have a different book format for these meanwhile ours as you can see the book is like much bigger so that's pretty interesting and also have these GTO volume 1 and 2 interesting thing about these that it says uh, bilingual comics and that means that when I look inside um, these you can see the text boxes instead of being in Japanese they're in English then the translation for the Japanese is right there so this must be like for Japanese people trying to learn English and they can buy these things so they can like read their their beloved series while also learning English so it's pretty cool I've never seen this before want to get more of these um, then last Japanese one I have um, is Wayside B volume 1 I have no idea what it is and I just got it because it's Japanese oh yeah also these are like new to my shelf I'm gonna be showing the stuff that I've gotten new series on my shelf first this is also a new series. This isn't a manga though. It's a man manhwa or Korean comic <clears throat> called Fairy's Landing. Um, <clears throat> I have no idea what it's about, but I do like that the font in the title pops out. That's very rare to find. It's pretty cool. Although the art style looks atrocious, but that was kind of common for Korean series back then. Alright. Next, we have Cirque du Freak Volume 1, which I grew up with as a kid, reading it at the, my local library. I got up, I only got up to like Volume 6, but I'll, uh, I'm going to start getting these now. Yeah, I just love it. This guy, 2 Volume 1. This got discontinued here in the U.S. because I think the company, Broccoli Books, uh, got shut down. And, like They closed their doors. So they stopped publishing this. There's like only four though, or three, and they only publish two or three of them. So it's it, I guess it won't really kill me to get the Japanese versions. Um, then there's Death Note Volume Six, also a new series on my shelf. I wanted to get the box set, but um, I it was a less than a dollar in Google, so of course I had to get my hands on it. I guess I'm gonna have to start getting them individually now. Then these series which. Apparently, it's very popular. Uh, it's Shak Shakugan uh, no Shana. Never heard about this, but when I got this and I showed some people, they were begging me to show that to read it, to read it, to read it, because it was apparently very, very good. Um, but yeah, I have the first three volumes. I still haven't actually read it. So if you're watching this and you're one of the people that told me to read it, I'm sorry. But I just haven't. I'm too lazy to. But it seems interesting. Next are Sayuki Volume 1 and 2, plus Anima Volume 3, Fairy Q Volume 1, uh, Alishino, Alikino Volume 1, and Shugo Kara or Shugo Shara Volume 4. More new series on my shelf. I actually have the first volume of uh, the sequel reloaded over there, so didn't know that there was a series before it, so I had to get these. Yeah. Don't really know what to say about the rest because I know nothing about them, but I got them anyway because they're cheap at Google. Next, we have uh, Tokyo Mew Mew. Same thing with this. I also got a Google with. I know someone who actually does really like this, like the only one person on Twitter uh, that she really likes this, I think. Um, 
Right. And then we have a uh, Comi Can't Communicate Volume 1, which I ordered off of Amazon. Absolutely loved it. Then there's Fruits Basket Volume 1. Absolutely loving the... Uh, um, <clears throat> and Fruit Basket Volume 1, which I'm watching the reboot series right now, and I absolutely love it. I absolutely hate the art style of the manga, though, but I'm going to start collecting it now since I really like the new anime. Um, there's Volume 1 of Back Black Butler. Uh, a lot of Volume 1s, right? <laughs> uh, it's pretty weird. But yeah, I, I also, uh, back in like 2015, I think, 2016. I binge read the first 10 volumes at my library. I checked them out and I like binge read them all in one day and I absolutely loved it so much. But, um, yeah, and I'm gonna start getting them now because after that they didn't have any more and I was too lazy to read it online. <laughs> but, uh, I'm gonna start collecting them now. Next one, I absolutely love this series so much. I grew up with this reading this The Gray Man, Volume 11. So glad that I finally have this series on my shelf. And then finally this, uh, it's called Canon God uh, Exaxion. I've never heard about this. This is the first volume. It's printed left to right, which is weird. Apparently it's from the creators of Gunsmith Cats. I haven't bothered looking up anything for, about this. But it the cover looks cool. It looks, it's not from the 90s, but it looks like it's from the 90s, which I thought it was cool. Okay. Alright, now we have series that I already have on my shelf. I'll start with Fairy Tale Volume 7. You guys know I really like my uh, Fairy Tale. And yeah, got a sheep from uh, Second and Charles. If you guys ever see Second and Charles in your area, go to it. They always have sheep uh, used books. And we're good to get. Sorry about that. Next we have. Uh, Pokemon X and Y, Volume 11, super thin, very weird, it's like 50 something pages, this is how they're publishing Pokemon, Mon this this specific uh, Pokemon Adventures, it's how they're, it's so weird, but that's just how they are now, then I have Rave Master Volume 11, and one of the ones that I said about my friend having them, it's also Rave Master Volume 5, so that's two Rave Masters that I've technically gotten, I need to get my hands on it. Uh, DN Angel Volume 8. Finally, that other one I have won't be by itself now. It'll have this. Absolutely love this series. Heard that it came back. Re uh, that Yeah, it did came back recently. And I think it finished. But I really, yeah, so I really need to go through and read it all. Next is Pretty Face Volume 6. A series that you barely, barely, barely see on here because it's so hard to get your hands on. For some reason, the volume of these skyrocketed because this sold terribly um, over here in the U.S. because And even in Japan too, so they actually canceled the series. There's only six volumes. And yeah, this is the fourth of the... Four of the six that I have now. Now I just need volume four and five. But man, volume four's prices on eBay is like sometimes just go from like from like twenty to forty dollars, and I'm like, uh, uh I'm not gonna spend this. I got this luckily off off eBay for like eight dollars, so that's a good thing. Um, next we have some more Amazon orders. Here I'll go ahead and put all three of them at once. Rosario of Empire Volume 8. You guys know I love this. Uh, Black Clover Volume 3. Finally, my Volume 4 won't be by itself anymore. And Nisekoi Volume 16. And three. And my friend also has three Nisekoi volumes I need to get back from him, which are Volume 7, 8, and 9. So I got four Nisekois, um, technically. Love to get these so much. So glad I have more. Getting close to the end here. Next we have uh, Love Hina Volume 5, and also my friend also has Volume 2 and 3 of Love Hina, so that's three Love Hinas that I've gotten technically. Um, and Twilight Princess Volume 5, which I pre-ordered off Amazon. I, I always pre-order every single Twilight Princess off Amazon, if you guys have seen my channel, I've said so every single time. I absolutely love this so much. And then lastly we have Aizu. Or is volume seven and eight. I absolutely love this series. It is my absolute favorite romance series. Well, 
that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Those are my pickups. Tell me what you guys think, and I'll see you next time.